Hi, Brock here from Procore Power Equipment. Today we're going to be looking at the Toro Turfmaster 30 inch mower. This exact model is a 22235 that's got the Kohler engine on it, 30 inch deck. We're comparing it to like the Toro Time Master, which would be the 30 inch residential version of it. Uh, this has a larger engine, bigger transmission in it heavier frame all around the deck is actually the same but the tires they've upgraded the handles they've upgraded you have a parking brake on this mower uh, you have updated idler pulleys on the deck just going to hold up a lot longer for commercial use it's made to go out every day and use it it has a one-year warranty on it so they don't cover it super long but one year they're going to cover you for it uh, the engine has a three-year on it though so that is covered for three years the rest of it's just one um, we're going to walk around it i'm going to show you some likes some dislikes give you some feedback that i've gotten back from it uh, first up here i really like the deck adjustment on this one it's two points so one on the front one on the back pull this guy you can adjust it wherever you want it actually has the height on the side here you know we mow about three and a half here a lot you know, we're down to three the back one kind of similar pull up on it and then you can adjust front back drop it into place it has a much larger gas tank than the time master has it's much bigger put, put a lot more gas in there uh, like I said earlier, this one's got the Kohler engine on it. You can also get it with a Kawasaki. We choose to get it with the Kohler most of the time to stock because it has more power than the Cowie. Warranty is the same on the engine and people seem to like this one better. Um, you know, most times when we're talking commercial mowers, a lot of guys like Kawasaki engines. But when we're talking this small engine, this has been the preferred engine for the last couple of years since they brought it out. Throttle, choke, all in one place here. A nice flexible hose here to drain oil out of. Loosen that and, and drain it out the bottom. This one actually has an oil filter over on the right hand side. Couple things back here on the handles. Uh, this one has a, you know, the blade stop on it so you can have the motor running, drive it around with the bail cable here. When you want to engage the blades, push this one in, pull down on it, that turns your blades on, they start cutting. Uh, this also has a parking brake because something we found, if guys are using the Time Master or the older Turf Masters, they didn't have a parking brake on them, they put them in their trailer, they'd roll around and smash the handles all up on them. So this one, put the parking brake on, that'll hold it in place. That seems to work really well for people. They like that a lot. Um, bail cable here that's pretty comfortable um the personal pace on the time master is really nice too but you can get used to this one uh, and, it, and it works fairly well the flap on the back here is made out of metal that's nice it's going to hold up for a long time for you got a nice big bag there as well you can bag mulch or side discharge with this one and this guy has the upgraded uh, heavier duty discharge chute put it right over here onto this side it's, the bag fits in here pretty well stays in place extremely well to get it in there it's got a nice heavy spring so that holds everything down uh, down here you can see these wheels these wheels hold up really well you can actually get quite a few hours out of them you know before we see you guys bringing them back in so you can see the underside of it here this one's got the updated transmission so a little heavier duty transaxle underneath here to drive it that holds up really well we have no complaints on that one the older models we did have a few issues with them but the new ones they, they've held up extremely well over here we have twin blades so this is a 30 inch mower these are timed blades you can see that one's up one sideways that way they can fit them both in and this deck mows really well whether you're bagging mulching or side discharge you're using the side chute there it mows extremely well people love the cut quality of them there's twin blades mulch it up really well especially um, i definitely think that's the way to go okay guys we kind of covered the important parts of this mower uh just two quick things that i get back on this mower uh, and some feedback from the commercial guys that i know that are using it uh one thing they say it's pretty heavy and you can definitely feel that when i flipped it up on the side and even pushed it over here it's got a lot of weight to it so that's something to be aware of you know if you're out on the hillside or something it's got got some more weight to it than some of the others uh, you know, in the 21 inch, 22 inch size mowers. Uh, but there again, you're getting 30 inches of cut on this one. So you're covering a lot more ground. It gets in those backyard fences. This particular mower right now is around $3,000. Uh, I know it sounds like a lot and it is, but if you're comparing it to a 36 inch walk behind, you know, for a few backyard gates, the Hydro Pro line walk behind is around 6,000 right now. So, you know, you can buy three of these for that price. It's definitely a, a little cheaper option for you. And it's not, not a bad mower for the price. Uh, one more thing I get back, you know, with feedback is they have a few more wear items to them than some of the small mowers do. So you have three belts on this mower and a few cables. Uh, there are just some parts there that do wear out over time and you have a little bit of uh, money into replacing those over, over the years. So just something else to keep in mind. Uh, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in this mower or, or any other mower, please give us a call or visit our website.